Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. As usual, I'm heading out the door, but I wanted to show you my outfit because every time I get dressed, I feel like I need to document it because it's rare. I'm usually in pajamas. But I put on a cute little outfit because I'm heading out the door to meet my friend Sierra for lunch. She's in LA for a work thing. So we're gonna meet out in West Hollywood and get some lunch together. I'm so excited to catch up. I haven't seen her since I was there for Vlogmas when I went to San Diego a couple months ago. And so I'm excited to catch up. So anyways, here is what I put together for today's outfit. This is actually gonna be in a main channel video coming up soon because I love it so much that like I took it from that video and I'm now wearing it in real life. But this sweater actually is a thrifted find from Tokyo. When Drew and I were in Shimokitazawa, we went to a bunch of like thrift and vintage shops and we found this sweater and it's the best sweater that's maybe ever been made. It's like super fuzzy and like oversized. I love it. So I obviously don't have a link for it. I have just like a plain white tee from Hollister underneath. I have my little, what is this called? Uh, locket necklace from Drew. I have my glasses from, I think these are from iBuyDirect. I'm pretty sure. I have my Old Navy skirt that is my go-to black skirt because it has shorts underneath, so it's iconic. And then I have these thrifted brown cowboy boots. And that's it. So I'm going to grab my, Drew actually got me, I have, he got this for me for Christmas and I haven't really used it that much yet. But he got me like a bigger um, crossbody bag. This is the Bagu Crescent bag, I think it's called. And I love it. I started using it this week and I can pack and fit so much more stuff in there. So I'm gonna pack up my camera, got my phone, gonna get my keys and we're gonna hit the road and go have some lunch with Sierra. I'm so excited. Look who it is, Hello. reunited. We got a nice little juice flight going. We're at the Butcher's Daughter. I've actually been to a location that they have in New York. I don't remember which one, but it's a like, I think vegan or vegetarian place. So we decided to be, you know, adventurous and try some juice flights. Cause here I was like, well, I'm not having any flights anytime uh, soon. This is the first flight of any kind <laughs> I've had in a while. And I was like, let's do it. So we have like a pink one. I think that's like a passion fruit raspberry or something. It's really good. The green juice, is it good? Yeah. Good. Um, a tangerine and then some kind of like yellow pineapple jicama lemon, I think. So we're gonna try them. All right, I'm gonna try the orange. Cheers. This is the, I think this one has passion fruit in it. Oh my oh, God, the pure passion. so good. I love passion fruit. Yeah. If you like passion fruit, you'll like that. Mm. Yellow is delicious. I do taste the jicama, that's really good. Try the pink. Okay, I feel like maybe I've had this back in the day. But... Mm. Oh, this just yes. like lemonade. It's the same vlog but just different people. We have um, the same clips, but we just Doing got, I think it's, yeah. Except mine is of you and yours is of me. Lovely, Look at two different POVs. Um, we got a, I think it's called a spicy kale Caesar. It looks so good. I think I've had this before. It's oh, yeah? got some kind of like fried onion situation. I can smell it. It smells so good. Delish. <laughs> All right, we just finished lunch. Sierra's running to the bathroom and we decided to get some coffee because she offered. And we were like, yeah, that sounds great actually. And it's such a beautiful day. I did have to take my sweater off and now I kind of have it wrapped around me. I'm feeling very chic. But now we're gonna have like a nice little coffee date outside. It's the most beautiful weather. And this is like one of the days where I just feel so grateful to live here. So although I've been kind of back and forth in my mind about where I want to live and what I want to do, like this is one of the moments where I just like, I love living here. Feeling very, very grateful. All right, just made it back in the car. I had a lovely, lovely time with Sierra. It's about 3 p.m. now and traffic is gonna start getting crazy, so I need to head home, but I love seeing that girl. I love having friends like her. I love catching up and just feeling like no time has passed at all. So Sierra, if you're watching this, I freaking love you. You're the best and I'm so grateful for you and our friendship. What a lovely afternoon. It's perfect weather. We had the perfect lunch. Our salads were so good. That is like, 
one of the best salads I ever had. Sierra actually ordered another one to go so she can have it in her hotel for dinner. <laughs> like it's that good. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. What a lovely, lovely afternoon. Nice lunch date, followed by coffee and just good conversation and just, it's good for the soul, you know? I'm so happy. Hello, it is actually now Sunday morning. It's a couple days later and we've had a very relaxing weekend so far. It's about 9.15 a.m. And we're heading out to go to a coffee shop that I see everybody talk about. It, be, it was like very trendy a few months ago um, on TikTok and like Instagram and stuff. I think like celebrities were going there and like it, it girlies and stuff, but it's called Community Goods and they have breakfast sandwiches on King's Hawaiian rolls. So it was like, obviously that needs to be a thing. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna drive over there and see what it's all about. I have just gotten ready. I'm wearing sweats today because it is cloudy. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's a holiday weekend. So we're keeping the cozy weekend vibes going and this is my outfit. So I have this Iron Maiden crew neck sweatshirt that Drew, I think he found it when we were um, in Tokyo. So this is from Tokyo, even though it's from the US and ended up in Tokyo and we brought it back to the US. <laughs> I've got my nice little headband on to try and hide the fact that my hair is a bit greasy, in fact. And then I have my Amazon camo sweatpants because they are so comfortable and my white Adidas Sambas. I'm feeling quite tired. I stayed up late last night because I was trying to finish my book and I think I'm at like 87 or 89% done, but I couldn't finish it. I was so tired. So we're gonna probably finish it today. I'll chat about it later. But in the meantime, let's get some coffee. Okay, we decided to come back to the car because number one, it is so crowded. There were probably, it's the tiniest, tiniest little coffee shop. There were probably over a hundred people. Like it was insane. Also the vibes were just not for us. Like no offense. I don't know how to describe it. It was just like we felt very odd being in there. So anyway, okay, we're in the car. We're gonna taste test it. We got some bacon, egg and cheese sliders that come with some sort of like garlic butter and hot sauce situation or like chive. It's like a, or you yeah, said it's like a mustard? mustard. That looks amazing. And then I'm gonna try this banana bread with passion fruit butter on the side. And um, also they are out of decaf, so I didn't get a coffee. And I don't even have a water or anything, so this will be fun. Okay, cheers. Dang. Is it tasty? Mm-hmm. Dang, that's really good. I love passion fruit. You might not like it. No, oh, it's so warm. These are good too. Is it good? Let me try one. One trade. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of these here sliders. Which should I try first, the hot sauce or the garlic? I like the creamy sauce better. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try the creamy sauce. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, I like the... I like the butter. Okay, now I'm gonna try it with the hot sauce. Mmm. It's like a sweet hot sauce. You like the hot sauce better, don't you? Mm-hmm. It's like a chili, like a sweet chili. Mm-hmm. Absolutely delish. I think I might have to go back in and get a water bottle. <laughs> All right, we're taking a detour to Alfred because I really wanted a coffee, but they were out of decaf at the last place. So we're gonna make a quick stop and get me my little, my little coffee fix. <laughs> Decaf acquired, justice for decaf lovers. All right, we're home from coffee. We made a quick little, a quick little change because we're gonna head out for our walk. We're doing things a little bit differently today, just a little bit out of order. Cause, cause why not? That's, that's how we keep things fun and interesting and spicy. Um, I'm wearing a cute little like old navy. I think it's called a bolero, I think. Um, it's really cute. So here we here we have the next outfit for the day. Got my fancy little wraparound sunglasses. That is in the way and it's very much bothering me. This little, this is actually just like a bralette that I wear to bed usually. It's from Free People. We have this from Old Navy, my Lululemons, my New Balances, and a fanny pack. <laughs> Let's go. All 
right, it's much later now. It's about like 3.30, I think. And I'm just unwinding after, you know, taking our walk. We walked about like, I think almost three miles, I wanna say like 2.7 miles or something like that. And then we cleaned our apartment and ate lunch. I did a little bit of editing and now I'm just gonna sit on the couch. I don't normally edit on the weekends, but I'm just trying to get ahead. And I made myself a nice little snack of popcorn. And it was like, I was just thinking about this because I take my buttered popcorn very seriously. Like it has to be the right kind of buttered popcorn, extra movie theater butter. And it just made me think of when Drew and I went to the UK or when we went to England back in, when did we go? Like October, thank you. And when we went to the movie theater because we saw the Eras Tour movie, when we were there on our last day, we just like didn't want to walk around and do anything. And um, it was magical. And anyways, when we went to the movie theater and got to the counter and ordered popcorn, they said, do you want it sweet or salty or both? And and we were like, oh, like salty. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool that they offer like a different option. It's probably like kettle corn. I don't know. And there was no butter. It was just salted popcorn with no butter. And I mean, obviously Americans, we love our butter and it's not even butter, it's oil, but it's so good. I can still hear it like sizzling. I also have some mini chocolate chips cause you need Sweet and salty, obviously. And I'm cuddled up on the couch with my blanket. I'm so cozy and I'm going to read my book. I am so old and I love it. I'm going to tuck into my little book on my Kindle. I'm currently reading The Guest House, Guest List. And I really like it. I've only, it's taken me a while to like build up to this point. I'm at 87% as I mentioned earlier. I almost finished it last night, but I just got too tired. And it's really good, number one, because it's like kind of thriller, mystery type of thing. Basically it's like a no spoilers recap i guess it takes place on an island off the coast of ireland and there is like this big wedding that's happening there and something happens at the wedding at the very beginning and then the rest of the book is sort of like figuring that out kind of going back in time and retracing steps giving backstory things like that so far i really like it i mean i'm at 87 percent, so i'm almost done so i think i'm gonna finish it now and then just like give you my final thoughts but i really like that it's british Obviously, we know I love that and it's just like it feels like a British television show Do you know what I mean? Like the shows that I really love there have been a few times where I've had to look up what something means Like it's like a slang word or whatever. I'm like, oh, I've never heard of that on the Kindle I'm sure everyone knows this but on the Kindle you can just like hold down on a word and then like the definition of that word comes up that's been very helpful for me because sometimes I'm like, what is that? I do like that it kind of jumps around and basically it, it talks from a bunch of different characters' points of view. And it's, a, it's like there's something happening and it's like building up to it. The one thing I will say is it's taking a while to like get to this point. It's kind of like, okay, I get it. Like we're at this wedding, you know, type of thing. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there is definitely some tea. There's, it's juicy. So I'm going to finish it now. And then I guess I'll give you like my thoughts afterwards, but what like a cozy delicious sunday what could be better it's cloudy outside it's supposed to rain tonight i got my popcorn and i'm gonna enjoy my book all right it's actually a few hours later um it may not look like I've left this spot. I mean, I haven't, to be fair, I haven't really left this spot that much, but I did finish my book in about 30 minutes and then I took a nice long nap. It was so glorious and now Drew is making us dinner. Sorry if I just made you yawn. <laughs> Drew's making us dinner and it's raining. Uh, I love when it rains here. Like I get so excited just because it doesn't rain that much. So it makes it like exciting. Although some people get upset about it when it rains i honestly love it it just makes it like so cozy i just love the rain i talk about it every single time i also just got up to get something and i realized that um somehow a chocolate chip fell and was smushed <laughs> this entire time on my pants it has since been thrown away don't worry so yeah we're gonna enjoy the rain eat our dinner and oh didn't update you on the rest of the book it was really good i actually would recommend it there were some things in the end where i was just kind of like mm, i would have liked more clarification on that but i really really liked it i think for like a nice thriller it was very enjoyable so yeah it's called the guest list by lucy foley i think next i'm gonna start the teacher by frida mcfadden because i've seen like three people that i follow this week talk about that book and i love me a frida mcfadden book i just think that it's like the easiest quickest 
keeps you on your toes there's always twists and turns type of book ever i've talked about this before i think it's so great to read like very philosophical books or like you know books that really make you think and i think that's great um there's time and space for that for sure but i also just really love reading to like completely dissociate like turn off my brain i don't want to think too hard almost like if you're in the mood to watch like a indie film versus like a chick flick or a rom-com or something like that you know what i mean it's just like you want to shut off your brain or like reality tv versus like something very dramatic and artistic i used to like definitely when i was younger i used to think that i had to read all of these like authors and be very pretentious about books and stuff and as i've gotten older i'm just like you know what i just really enjoy like my smut and my thrillers and that's pretty much where I stay. I mean, sometimes I veer off course, but Sarah Vargas um, talked about the teacher and she said she started it and finished it in the same day. And I was like, okay, well, I ride for my girl Frida. So I've got to purchase that. Where is my Kindle? I think that's what I'm gonna start tonight. And Frida McFadden books are just so like, they get you right away. Like usually right in the beginning, it hooks you. And um, I did find out, for those of you that read Frida's books, I did find out that a third housemaid book is coming out, I believe in like July, I wanna say. Don't you worry, I have already pre-ordered that. My Kindle is charging right now. That's the thing about this Kindle, by the way, is it is so convenient. I have only charged this thing like maybe once a month or two months, maybe even more than that, honestly. So it's just so nice because you really rarely have to charge it. Like this thing is just so great. So, okay, I have a few on my TBR. Um, I basically just like screenshot recommendations from Instagram. I used to get recommendations from TikTok sometimes. Sometimes I look on YouTube. It just kind of depends. And then I'll just keep those in my phone, like screenshots or whatever for when I'm ready to read something new. So, okay, so far I have The Golden Couple by Sarah Pacannon. Oh, and Greer Hendricks. I think it's a double author. I have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I have Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. And I have Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. So I've got those four on my TBR as well, but I think I've got to, I've got to go Frida. And then I'll do like something else in between maybe. Um, cause I just love them. So anyway, ah, uh, so relaxed. Could not be happier. And tomorrow is another freaking weekend day because it's a holiday. The best. Got our spaghetti. Got Abbott Elementary. Couldn't be happier. Good night. Oh. <laughs> Good night. My vlog's done. Good night. There's ended the vlog. <laughs> All right, that is gonna do it for this vlog. I don't know how long this is. It is starting to rain now. I'm so excited. And we have a nice little rainy coffee date with our friends in the morning. I'm gonna start a new vlog for that, so that'll be fun. And yeah, that's gonna do it for the weekend vlog. We just sat on the couch for about two hours maybe three i don't know um we watched abbott elementary which has come back recently and it's like our favorite show to watch when we're eating dinner it's just so funny and silly and i love it i love the writing it's just such a good show love the cast love quinta like just love everyone and then we watched love island all stars the finale is tomorrow so by the time you see this it'll already be over it's been such a good season so far so we watched that and we've been watching Tokyo Vice on HBO. It came back like, I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that. And it's been so good. We've only watched the first episode or two episodes so far, but oh my God, it's so good. So yeah, I'll update with those as time goes on. But in case you're looking for some show recommendations, definitely recommend all of those and um that's gonna do it so thank you so much for being here for hanging out during i guess the last like four days um i appreciate it so much and i will see you very soon in the next vlog bye